Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the spark for the weapon. This is going to be the hit spark. Let's go ahead and place a new one in. We'll just take a uh, uh, go to the default settings here for a moment. We're going to go to the primary one. We'll go down to our uh, hit spark option. So it's going to be this one right here. So the, the spark, let me zoom in here so you can see the little spark happening. Spark is going to be the object that right when the bullet hits is going to uh, put a, uh, an image plane there. And it can be anything, like for these, it's generically is going to say a spark object is going to spark from it. Um, this one, if you have it enabled, it'll work. If you disable it, when it hits, it won't spark at all. It'll just skip that image. Um, if you have the brush set for it like we've done before, it can, you can use the override to change the other object to fit the size you want. Um, if I was to do a min-max scale, this is just going to say uh, you can actually scale it to be random every time it sparks so that maybe you want something to be, um, just as a for instance here, maybe you want, we'll do uh, min and max on the X and Y. Actually let's do this one large here. There we go. So you can place it where it, there's going to be just a random on the min and a random on the max. And then it gives it just a little bit of uniqueness to it. The same thing for on the rotate. If you don't want it coming in the same direction every time when it hits, you can use the same image, but it'll look a little different that way. All right, I'm going to change the uh, X and Y on the min here. Um, and then also display time. I'm going to uh, move this up so you can see a little bit longer. Say we wanted it to last like one full second when it, when it hit. You could do it that way. Um, if it has an animation to it, then it'll play through that one. Um, but for currently, we'll just say it's a single image like we have. And then there's also a attach to hit. This is just simply going to say when it hits it, it'll actually stay uh, uh, connected to it until it disappears from the time. The other thing to take note of on the, uh, the spark is that it's going to um, happen wherever the bullet contacts the collider object or the hit point object for it. Alright, so with it larger like that, let's take a look at how it looks when we shoot um, the object in front of us here. Alright, so notice the angle, it, it keeps this thing for one second. It's randomly rotating it and scaling it different sizes. So if you have a good generic kind of spark that you're wanting just to be able to use um, based on the hit, then you can apply it that way.